you're team FTR. I'm team Lucha Bros all the way. And these guys have been, been going back and forth for, you know, a couple of weeks now, um, you know, trading titles, you know, with the AAA title. And finally, uh, I think FTR has, has got their last straw of their title match mm. runs, which is mm. fine because they put on some banger of matches, man. And this was quite the way to uh, open up Rampage tonight, man. What did you think? Well, yeah, I think, you know, there is a team that I see dethroning the Lucha Brothers. Um, I think that there's an old staple in the AEW tag division that could have a, a heck of a, a match with these guys. Um, I didn't, even though I'm a diehard FTR fan, I didn't see yeah. them pulling off the victory tonight. Right. Uh, I still think that there's there's a story to be told with FTR mm-hmm. being the you know two time tag champions. Sure. Uh, but I think a couple other teams, I think that especially Santana and Ortiz, are a team that need to get their first run with the tag titles before FTR gets their second go around. Um, and then you could always revisit that killer FTR Santana Ortiz. Oh yeah, that was that fantastic. we saw earlier in the year between Inner Circle and um, the Pinnacle. So I think that would be a great one. Um, you know, as soon as I saw like the saw the card announced, I mean, this one was the match that I was most excited about. Again, you getting a chance to talk to you about this match. I know mm-hmm. that you're a huge Lucha Brothers fan already. Early on, you said it right away. SPD chop of the night goes to Ray Phoenix. I mean, it, how could it, it not? When those two guys are on the card, usually one of those two are going to win that award. They're that good at it. Um, I was really impressed by Cash tonight. Usually, I'm a big Dax guy. Usually, I'm always Team Dax when it comes to acknowledging sure. him as the workhorseman um, and seeing how much he's grown, especially on the mic over this last year incredible really really injury it's awesome to see him grow but i felt like cash was on point uh uh he was on point tonight i felt Mm -hmm. like you know um showed a lot of power uh his 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 battle with penta was really memorable in this match um a lot of smarts on display when he threw Uh, that glove and then took the kick to the face that was a brutal kick man brutal kick (laughs) Um, I even really liked the that pinning scenario, the, you know, sequence. We got to see him, you know, reversing uh, and rolling out of the ropes, using yeah. his ropes. Again, FTR always so good using the, the environment around them, cheating. Mm-hmm. You know, I know Pitcher and per- Picture is one of your arch nemesis. Uh, and, and, Biggest heel, bigger heel than you. I know. Uh, but, man, throughout the Pitcher and Picture break, it felt like FTR was cheating throughout, you know. It's just playing the crowd, <laughs> getting them worked up. Um, good stuff from me here, man. What what do you think of this match? I mean, the chops, like like I always love the chops and kicks by Lucha Brothers are absolutely insane. I mean, they're like second to none in the mm. business, period. And you know, just anytime we see Lucha Brothers in any match, I th- feel like there's it's show stealing. You know, I could say the same thing about the Young Bucks. And you know, as I was watching this match, I was I was thinking, I'm like, if the Lucha Brothers are healthy. There's no one that could dethrone them. And, you know, that was a question I wanted to ask you, but you mentioned Santana and Ortiz. Which I see it. I think would be a great team down the line to dethrone them mm-hmm. um, when the timing is right. But at this point, given the landscape of the tag division, there there's no slowing these guys mm-hmm. down. And I think this is a great – still, we consider this kind of like the first title defense feud. You know, they, they face Butcher and Blade, you know, but this is like their true first – title defense feud like a yeah. true feud um and it was successful and where they go from here man i wonder who who do you think is next up on the lucha brothers you know coming for them man it's you know tough. i would love to see private party kind of reemerge because that kind of high flying stuff that, um, that pairing would be fantastic together. right yeah and other than that you know no one really stands out that i could see you could even would it be too soon to throw in like an Adam Cole and Bobby Fish combo, even though the Young Bucks kind of have been intertwined? Um, not sure, but either way, man, this this tag uh, title reign, I think, is going to be one of the more dominant ones that we've seen in the tag division. I hope yeah. for. Well, you know, and I listened to your guys' t- you know, show on for Dynamite Download, and, um, you know, it was in, I was smiling the whole time here, and you talk about how you know Team 2.0 is your new the acclaim. Oh, there you go. And um, you know, either yeah. one of 
teams would be great. You know, um, good point. It claimed, I think you do want to kind of protect them a little bit. Um, but both of those guys can play as heels against uh, Lucha Bros. Um, in ring style, I think you know again a little taste of a little taste of what taste. we saw tonight with FTR. You know, Team 2.0 does a lot of that, like cheating, dirty. You know, um, behind like behind the referee's back type of tag work, and I and I they do a lot of trash talk, and I think that you need to have a team that could get under the skin of the Lucha mm-hmm. Brothers and get that sympathy with the crowd. Great call by S197. You know that I'm a diehard factory guy. We you are. Know, that would be a really nice call, actually, because, you True. know, Ogo being bring fresh on the scene. Obviously, QT as the leader has to be very stoked that a go goes back. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a tired maybe gun. he can want to team up with his prize, you know, his prize, you know, protege. Um, that's a great combo. I like that a lot. Um, but for me, yeah, yeah I, I think my mind immediately went to listening to you on Dynamite Download talking up how I got you into the acclaimed and you were slow you to come around to them and the t- and team 2.0 getting a little giving you a little taste right now of what's <laughs> to come. You know, these guys can hang. Bonds Agreed. talked about it too. They're not just great on the mic, they're not just great trash talkers. They seem to have a little bit of fire been, uh, uh, under them and their ability. I, to, I mean, dude, I was surprised. I thought when they attacked, and I'm getting on a tangent here, but I think the <laughs> team 2.0, you know, has shown that they could be legitimate title contenders. That they, their ability to uh, back up their trash talk has been impressive, especially when you have a guy like Daniel Garcia in their corner. So that could be they could be really Agreed. up and coming challengers. Um, other than that, I mean, there are the the mainstays. I think that obviously, yeah. I, I think long term, the next champs. That's a great point. Will be an established team. I think Santana Ortiz. The the crowd is dying for it. Yeah, man. I, I there was that all that momentum then leading into the New York City show, and you know, I, I don't know. It just kind of fizzled out, uh, unfortunately. And I think that the timing will come, and the fans haven't forgot about them. You know, as soon as they show face, they're going to be uh, cheering like crazy for. Uh, Santana and Ortiz as well. 